Rice is amazing. James couldn't help but think to himself as he enjoyed the tiny particles of carbohydrates covered in the sauce of the meat. James didn't have much experience with eating rice until relatively recently upon becoming an adventurer. The world he lived in outside the underground city wasn't some place where rice was a common food item, aside from the occasional foreign food establishments that existed. But even then, it was difficult to eat it due to his inability to afford the food while on the streets. But now, after becoming an adventurer, James was able to gain a better appreciation for a variety of cultural foods. During the times when he wasn't in the simulation, he'd visit the numerous dining locations to try out the different foods. The Adventures Guild inside the underground city was a cultural nexus. There were numerous cultures that were present due to the international presence that Star and Moon had, which trickled down into the underground city. His thoughts continued as he ate the food, thinking of all the various factors that would have needed to come together to create the environment that he was currently benefiting from. Deciding to grab what looked like a cabbage roll, James enjoyed the slight crunchiness of the wrap and the juices that exploded from inside. His eyes widened a little from the delicate spiciness that emerged. With each of the items that he tried, James felt lucky. It was a continual journey of flavors that he never had known about in the past. Not only was it strengthening his body, but also allowed him to expand his view of the world. It wasn't long before he finished the last item on the plate, which were meat patties that had roasted spices and chopped up vegetables mixed into them. He couldn't help but wonder how people could conceive of such a dish and what made them think to combine so many different things to create something so enjoyable to eat. I feel like the culinary world is a world that I'll never fully comprehend. James sighed as he cleared his plate. He grabbed a piece of the bread and proceeded to use it as a sponge to mop up the juices and sauce still on the plate. Being able to eat it in such a manner was delightful. Maya giggled as she watched James continually grab more bread and turn the plate spotless. I see that was good. Maya teased him. James felt his cheeks turn red as he blushed at Maya's comment. To help him, he grabbed some more bread and dipped it into the butter so that he didn't have to answer Maya's question. Mim's group started talking about past requests they had fulfilled and events that occurred. This led Naylor to frown a few times due to a few of the stories bringing up embarrassing moments. I still remember the look on your face when you realized that the monster had snuck up on you. Sam teased his companion. I don't think I ever saw your Warhammer move as fast as it did that day. Instead of engaging in Sam's teasing, Naylor simply picked up one of the juice glasses and took a long sip. It was clear that he didn't have any intention of dignifying Sam's mannerisms. Celine raised a hand to prevent the slight smile from being exposed. Well, shook his head at Sam, likely due to such an event that had occurred before in the past when they were loosening up. Watching the other group having fun, James knew that it wasn't taken seriously by any of the members due to how Mim appeared relaxed. As the leader of the group, Mim would have a good understanding when jokes crossed the line and likely have stopped Sam from continuing in order to maintain the healthy dynamic of the group. The fact that Mim didn't take any steps let James know that it wasn't unusual for them to tease one another.